Hey folks, how's it going? Dante from the World of Dante here. Special broadcast here. It is May 11th, 2.57 in the morning. I got back from work about three hours ago. Look, I need your help here. Look, there are over seven and a half billion people on the planet right now. Now, over a billion are in China, and that's all fascist and just absolutely controlled. There's over a billion in India. Many of the people there are very, very poor. I'm going to try and create a uh, foundation here for me. Um, I've got to get things fixed and straightened out. And I'll get into the problem here in a few moments. But look, we can rule out about two and a half billion people. That still leaves about five billion people. Now I've got 65 subscribers. Now think about it. Really, really think about it. You contact six people and, and tell them, my God, look at this guy's problem. Take a look at this guy. You get in touch with six people you, and then tell them to get in touch with six people. The way I look at it is it just for one day, one day, uh, each person gives one dollar and I can have my problem fixed. That means in one day I can have five billion dollars. Really think about that. Think about that one. Dave, Dave, take a look man on the finger. Don't give up on our plan here and quit screwing around with me, you bastard. Get focused on the meat and potatoes here. You want to feed your RV and your Porsche, your dog and you? I get with it, man. I've got the master plan. You know it and I know it. Come on, man. Uh, that woman, Susan, uh, the name she can't, the last name she can't even pronounce from YouTube? We got the plan. Quit fucking around, man. Okay, so back to business here. I'm not going to be like him. Hmm. So look, I've got a serious problem here and it needs to be taken care of. Uh, if you've looked at my video uh, about the G20 flashlight, I'll put the link below. you got to look at it, G20 flashlight. You know what my situation is. I quite literally get to park in the handicap zone. It's a serious problem. And I need help here. I need money. And, you know, if, if everybody in the world minus China and India uh, would donate one dollar for one day, it would fix the problem. Five billion dollars, come on. It would fix you. You know, you look at these commercials, they used to have them on the TV. I don't know if they still do or not. I've been in Germany for basically the last 20 years. Uh, but look. It used to be for 20 cents a day you could feed this child here. 20 cents a day. Look at what you could do for a dollar for one day for me and my cop. That's right, folks. I've stated it. Now, look. I actually have a, a handicap thing for parking in the handicap zone simply because of it. Now, okay, there was one girl I dated. Yes, at one point in her life, she was having sex with two guys at the same time. We did work out positions which I didn't think were possible, but she was the exception to the rule. You, you've got to you've got to understand that. When you understand her past, uh, then it all makes sense. Back in the day, when I had longer hair, I used to have hair past my shoulders. By the way. I had one girl tell me I hooked up with her one night down in uh, this bar of the cave. So, uh, we got down to our clothes off, and she told me I'm not, I'm not a lesbian. And I was like, that's not a clip. You know, uh, there's, what do I tell you? And then you take a look at the fact that my, my middle name is Richard, and uh, the other name for that is Dick. Come on, I'm half Polish? Go figure. I'm half Polish, folks. And what are Polish people called? They're called Poles. That makes me half a Pole. It's fucked up. It, it's like God is taking a piss on me. And then you see these people in the porno videos with dicks like this big. 
And it's proof that God fucked up because he gave somebody else the other half of my fucking cock. So don't tell me the creator didn't screw up. I mean, he made my dick on, on his day of rest, which is bullshit. Uh, obviously, he did it on a fucking Sunday. Okay, so look, my middle name is Richard, which the other name for that is Dick. I'm half Polish, uh, and Polish people are called Poles, so I'm half a Pole. It's like divine uh, providence here. It's absolutely fucked up. You know, the only thing I've got going in regards to my self-esteem is that I tried dating a, a lesbian. And it got down to bare basics, clothes off, and she's like, well, you're a guy. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, thank God you noticed. And then I was trying to plead with her. I was like, you know, just think of it as a big clip, but she couldn't do it. So that's been a big self... <laughs> <laughs> so that's been a big self-esteem booster for the record man I so don't care if this ever comes out if I become a famous writer or whatever I don't give a shit um, man I mean look when I get up in the morning I just go to the toilet I just face the toilet and just wait for the piss to start coming out. And then I have to follow the, the stream of piss to actually find my cock and hold it. And even then, I still have to use tweezers. I mean, this is not a good situation, folks. Just think about it. For one day of your life, for one dollar, you can change everything. I mean, yeah, okay, there are kids starving in Africa. Uh, and, and let's take a look at the, at, at the boys there and, and, and the teens and everything. They've all got cocks bigger than mine. I would gladly trade a, a, a can of beans for their situation. Come on. So I need some help here. This is very serious. You know, uh, you contact one of your friends. Let's line it all up. At, we've got five billion people to work with here. You tell uh, six of your friends and you tell them, hey, man, this guy's situation is serious. And they get in touch with six friends. It's the ghost to ghost hookup from the three investigators, if you're familiar with those books, which you should be. Come on, those are good books. Uh, where were you if you haven't? And pretty soon... We've got the whole planet covered. When I took sociology, we learned you're only six people away from the president. In other words, you say to one person, uh, I want to get in touch with the president. Do you know anybody who knows him? Then they ask somebody, it's six, it's, right, it's, seven, it's five, uh, it's seven. Yeah, I'm Paris Hilton. I'm, I'm sliving it. Uh, uh, you're six people away from the president. And then when I was in Germany, it got reduced down to five people, and that's because of technology. So, hey, folks, you get in touch with six fucking people, and you tell them, this guy's got a serious fucking problem. His cock's so small, he parks in the fucking handicapped space. All right? Just don't tell them about the lesbian rejecting me, because then they might think it's a good thing. Y'all didn't hear that. Don't refer them to the video, maybe. Uh, you just tell them. And uh, look, just for one dollar for one day, and let's get all five billion out there, and we'll get that shit fixed. Let's do it. This is a serious problem. Uh, you know, some guys have got three feet. I've got three thumbs. What the fuck? And okay... Uh, you know, humans and monkeys, well, we've got opposable thumbs, which makes me super smart. You know, that explains a few things in regards to my intelligence. But that's not good enough. I'm intelligent enough to fix the problem. So Wade, Bruce, Anna, Heather, Dave, all you fucks, I need you out there. You got to contact six people and tell them to contact six people and let's get this shit done. Uh, this shit's not funny except for you all. 
Uh, it's not your problem, it's mine, but I'm asking for some help here. Where's the humanitarian aid here? Where's the help here? For 20 cents a day. Well, fuck that. Uh, 20 cents a day for one month, that's more than one dollar. For one dollar for one day, you can fix my fucking cock. So let's do it. And the other thing is, for all of you who don't know, Dave to be that bastard. God damn you, man. Look, I came up with this brilliant, brilliant plan. Dave, don't you even fucking deny it. Anna, you got to get on this boy. Look, I came up with this brilliant plan. He and I will become famous. We're going to have money. We're going to have fuckloads of money and fame. We're looking out for the little, little people. Uh, I'm not going to get into the plan here. Dave knows that some people start putting some heat on Dave here. But, you know, I wouldn't have to plead here if Dave would go along with the plan. And we need Hobo Ali as our getaway driver. Mrs. Goody Two Shoes. And uh, the thing is, he's, f he's fucking around with Max and Lee. He's jumping around with Max's girlfriend, saying it's some other guy. It's obviously uh, uh, Lee and uh, one other girl here. He's got a little bit of a disguise, makes it look like he's got a ponytail in the back or something. It's Dave, man. It's fucking Dave. He's fucking around with, with girls here when he needs. Look, Dave. If you want the money, you know what the deal is. And you know, you know uh, we will become famous and have money just from my idea. You fucking know it. Uh, look at me. Look. Look. Hello? You know that is a money-making idea. You got me sitting here begging for cop donation money because you won't go along with it yet. What the fuck? So, to some degree here, my pleading here, I, you know, asking for help, humbly asking for help, has to do with you, uh, not saying jack shit here, man, come on. Uh, my idea is a moneymaker. Now, that said, Wade, Bruce, all y'all, Anna, Heather, I, I get it. Y'all want some bang for your buck here. So I've decided to start my own merch line. Now, if you've looked at older videos, you see me in a thong. I've got a nice ass. I've still got a nice ass, by the way, nice legs. I look great from behind. I've got, check it out. Look, I look like Jim Carrey. I could just stretch my face like crazy. I got to lose about uh, 20 uh, pounds here. Once I do, I, I'll look the clown again, start lifting weights. You know, I'll, I'll look good. Uh... In the meantime, only look good from behind. Uh, that said, you want merch? I got it. When I get back in shape, I'll be doing my thong line. And Dave, by the way, believe it or not, I saw some uh, girl at YouTube doing the thong line. Anyhow, check it out. We got coronavirus going on. My neighbor over here, uh, who I call Wilson, he's a cross-dresser. He had his shit hanging out, and I took one of his bras and uh, cut it in half because I was experimenting. You know, with the whole coronavirus thing, check this shit out. Be prepared here, folks. Check this shit out. Check it out. Boom! Boom! Check that shit out. So this is just experimental. I just wanted to show you all. I don't have uh, Rob's, excuse me, Wilson's bra here. Uh, I started off initially with that. You know, he'll get, he'll steal more from his uh, ex. But uh, check it out. We have to wear these at my job. And this is my idea. It's sexy time now. Dave, don't get hot, you sick fucker. I just looked at your video about how you like VDs. You sick bastard. You're worse than I thought. Look, just focus on Hobo. But check this out. Um, I threw out the, the bra because I experimented with that idea about a, a week ago. I threw it out. I didn't want anybody thinking I'm like Dave 2D. But check it out. These are from work because I have to wear a mask at work, which is absolute bullshit, by the way. You can't fucking breathe with it on, but check it out. So, my merch is going to be a bra 
which you can unhook in the middle. You can divide it for you and your loved one, you know, obviously your, your boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm just going to pull it down like a thong. Uh, but check it out. And what you do is you unhook it. And then you've got a mask, a his and hers mask. Uh, the girls might have to go a little rough riding on the nipples there, you know. But in a pinch, it's, it's a good goddamn deal. So what you get is you get, you, you get a goddamn bra, but you can detach it in the middle and the back. You have a separate thing, and you can wear it on your face. Now, with some of you girls, I don't know why, but for some reason, girls with big tits like to date me. I don't know why. Some of those masks might be a little bit big. I can't do anything about that. In a pinch, it'll still work. You just wear it, you know, below the eyes. It'll just hang down way, way low. Um, so uh, that's my merch idea. And for those of you not willing to give a dollar... It's just one dollar for the rest of my life. You look at those little starving fucks living in the desert in Africa. Uh, you know why they're starving? Because they live in a fucking desert. I live in a fucking desert. But I got food. I'm not an imbecile. Take a fucking look. I live in the desert. I got food and shit. Look, I got, I got, I got liquid here. Look at that. You want some of this, little fuckers? So... Uh, hey, man, that's their fault. 20 cents a day adds up to more than a dollar for one fucking month. I'm talking about one dollar for one day, period, for the rest of my life and your life, and we get my shit fixed. And then check this shit out. I'm going to come out with my own bra merch line, and it also separates and functions as a corona mask for him and her, or for her and her. Or, hell, what the fuck for him and him, for that matter? Are you all with me? Are you feeling me? Is, hey, man, I'm the man. Dave, check out my ideas. You dumb back. What the fuck? Isn't, stop fucking around with Lee. And fuck Max. Max is going to end up with Jim and the Indian. It, it's obvious. Come on. I take a look. I am an idea man. Dave, come on, man. You know my, my idea is going to work. So for Wade, Bruce, uh, Bobby, Anna, Heather, anybody, take a look. You don't want to go in on the dollar thing? Then you got to wait about a month till I come out with my bra line. Bra that separates into two pieces, straps on the end so that you can actually, two people can actually wear your bra over their faces. Uh, you can wear half your bra and your mate can wear half uh, your bra. It's good business. I have design patterns, the world of Dante, probably, uh, you know, on, on a lot of these bras, um, my ass and the thong, you know, on there, you know, with, with the ass cheeks, you know, where it splits right across the nose, it'll look cool. <laughs> so, um, all right, that's it. I need your help. And let's see this shit get rolling here. I'll have to set up a crowdfunding or a PayPal or something. Uh, give me some tips down below and subscribe if you've never seen my channel before. Subscribe, hit thumbs up, and, uh, you know, give me an idea. Should I do crowdfunding, uh, PayPal, what? Patreon, uh, let me know. So that's it. Subscribe.